The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. Monica, this is for you, baby. Miss Bojangles herself, allegedly. Sorry I'm late, y'all. Some technical issues, but what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2, and this is the morning show. Now, I know a lot of y'all are like, wait, AT2, it's not morning right now. Well, it's still morning to me. It's only 10.54 where I am. So as of right now, we still in morning. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say in morning, but, you know, it's still morning. What's up, everybody? Uh, let me say what's up to the people. What's up, Wanda? What's up, Shauna? What's up, BB? What's up, Do Good? Uh, what's up, uh, Hector? Thank you for coming. What's up, Mina, the hardest working mod? Uh, how are everybody doing out there? Make sure you guys hit that like button. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit that, um, you know, the one that the notification button and then hit the one that says all so you get all the notifications. But how are everybody doing? Um, I kind of wanted to get in here before we start, you know, to give people time to come in and stuff like that and just break down a few things um, about my life and stuff like that. Um, if uh, you are watching the replay, just forehead like five minutes. But I want to talk about number one, because there's always an awkward question that I get and I never know how to answer it. So I don't answer it anymore. I'll just completely avoid it or ignore it. It's uh, have you have you got a job yet? And not necessarily you guys say that, but people in my personal life say like, oh, do you have a job? Are you working yet? And it's all like, yo, I'm a motherfucking star. Like, this is my, this is my job. Like, you don't see me like I'm I'm a celebrity. I'm a star like this is my job. So I always find that question to be awkward and I don't know how to ever answer it. Like, I mean, I know what to say, like, oh, uh, you know, I do social media, blah, blah, blah. But I almost feel like it's a shady question. And this is what I mean by that. The reason why I feel it's a shady question is because basically what they're saying is that you don't have a real job and you need to go get one. That that's what uh, that's what it translates to me, at least. I don't know about y'all. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it translates to me like, oh, you don't have a real job. That that's what it translates to me, at least, you know, um, it's al always an awkward question. Um, also this morning I woke up with another headache, but it, it's starting to feel better. Um, I slept in an awkward position instead of like, you know how you sleep like up and down. I slept like on the side. I don't know. I woke up in like a weird position and like my neck was hurting. My head was hurting. Just everything was hurting. Y'all I'm getting old. I'm only, I'm only in my early thirties. Like how am I already broke the shit? I'm getting broken down and everything. What's up, Sherry? What's up, Southern Bell? Thank y'all for coming. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the topics. So we're going to start out with Christian Walker. For those of you who don't know, Christian Walker is a TikToker. Um, around, you know, when the panoramic happened, uh, that's when he really got his exposure. He would go around... Um, his whole spiel is to be like the conservative and talk about um, liberals and owning liberals and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what? I do sound stuffy. Like maybe it's a sinus, uh, a sinus infection or something. Man, hopefully not. Uh, anyway, uh, but thank you for pointing that out, BB. I think that's what it is too. 
but uh, his whole his whole spiel is to own the libs and all that stuff, right? So with Christian Walker, it always seemed like something something was there. Like there's some kind of internal hatred. And I'll get to that in a minute. But there's some kind of internal hatred that he has. And for whatever reason, I was like, it's something deeper with him. Because I don't think you could be like this person to spew all this stuff. And specifically towards Black people. Being Black, talking about Black people negatively it got to eat you up on the inside. You know, I, I on my channel, we might think critically of somebody, but I don't necessarily bash um, black people as far as like, you're poor, you're black, you're ugly. You know, you get with him, uh, you get people like him, Candace Owens, uh, who's the who's the twins, the Hodge twins? You get a lot of, you're poor, you're black, you're ugly. You're poor, you're black, you're ugly. And it's repetitive. And, that's, and some people will be like, AT2, they don't say that. They don't say that, but that's the message that they give out to us, to us. They give out, you're poor, you're black, you're ugly. So they had to be like some kind of internal hatred or something like that. Well, as you guys know, his father is running for the uh, Senate race in uh, Georgia. It's a tight, tight race currently. And there has been some things that came up in his past. Um, him being an absentee father, uh, this uh, abortion scandal. Damn it, I said the word. But the uh, scandal he paid uh, for a woman in 2009 to go uh, to the chop shop. She went to the chop shop. She said she has a receipt for it. All this other stuff, right? Oh, and definitely, if you guys would like to go ahead and get me a can of uh, uh, Campbell soup, go ahead and hit up in the PayPal Cash App or Venmo. And shout out to BBBB. Thank you. I did get your Cash App. I appreciate that. But if somebody else want to give me a can of soup or something like that or send a Super Chat Super Sticker, definitely go ahead. Anyway. So Herschel Walker, he's been denying all this stuff. And so Christian, his son, finally came out and said something and basically exposed his father. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead and take a look at the live that he did. Um, it's still saved if I have it. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, it's still saved. We're going to go ahead and listen to it. Y'all ready? I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people. He has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card dropped. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia. This kid, all. He's that's so been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have said. We could have ended this on day one. We, I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying, don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family. should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left, oh no, it's freezing. Father, I've talked about these issues because they're close to me. Because I've been through it. That's why I've talked about it. So Oh, is it still going? Hold on. Stop share. Ay, ay, ay. I wonder if it's my internet. Damn it. I hate that that happened. Okay. So basically, in his words, um, this is a live show. This is live. Uh, <laughs> that's why you cover it up. This is a live show. This is live technical issues. So he's talking about his dad and how people were coming out attacking him, saying that, you know, he's trying to look for attention. Uh, why is he speaking out now? And basically trying to discredit him and call him a liar. And so he he's speaking out because he's all like, no, like, this is my story. And what he says in there also is that Herschel Walker was supposed to come out and basically 
I hate saying atone for his sins, but basically come out and be honest and apologize for the stuff that he did to his mom, his um, uh, to him and just co uh, confess everything and basically start new and come out and be like, yeah, this was my past, but I went ahead and changed this. But for Christian Walker, he calls out the whole family value thing and basically saying that, you know, if you if you guys are really about family values, then this man, like, how, how are you guys going to have this man run? Now, all in all, politics is a dirty game. They don't care about what happened in the past, what happened in uh, what happened here, what happened there. Usually you can sweep it under the rug. You either going to vote or you going to vote. And that that's basically it. What's up Tony? Thank you for coming. So Christian Walker uh, it, there was a part that you missed because it was kind of freezing, but he said, the reason why I talk about absentee father so much is because my father was absent in my life. Boom. And that's where you kind of go like, yo, this is where all this comes from because he didn't have his dad in his life. He probably didn't have any kind of, um, uh, no, no, uh, like no guidance, no structure, he didn't have somebody there to be like, hey, this is what you want to do. This uh, some somebody involved. There are a few pictures with his dad and stuff like that. But you could tell like those are probably like one in few. Like you don't see any pictures of Christian and Herschel Walker together as adults. Uh, well, not not as a not as adults. I mean, as childhood, like him taking his son to the beach. Him taking his son to his first baseball game. Him taking his son to go get ice cream. You don't see those pictures. Like, everybody who has parents or who is a parent, you have, like, those sentimental photos. Uh, just random stuff that went on in their life. You have those kind of photos. I know I have a whole bunch of photos of me here and there and everywhere, um, because uh, my dad was very involved in my life. Like I have those photos, but for him, you don't really see those photos on. Maybe uh, I'll take the other side of the coin. Oh, maybe they don't want to expose the family and stuff like that. But remember, this isn't Herschel's only son. He has about five kids. So just imagine if the other kids come out and speak because they're not in the public eye. So we don't know what they have to say. But if they want to come to AT2's channel and spill the beans, please come on my channel and we'll definitely have it. <laughs> What's up, Jacqueline? Thank you for coming. So I want to go ahead and move on to uh, Stormy, Coach Stormy. Her name is Storm Wellington. Um, she has gone viral for this whole low vibrational plate where she's telling a woman Oh, this is a plate of a queen and you don't have, you know, that's not the, uh, that's, that's a plate of a hood rat, right? So let's go ahead and play it right now. Hold on. You couldn't even pay me to do that. They put this on my plate. I will not, let, no, I don't do what they do. I do what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm the I'm a leader. But she's I my would coach. never eat a plate that looked like this. You couldn't mm. pay me a million dollars to do that to myself. Mm. Oh my God. And I because deserve better than that. That's mm. low vibration. And you took it. I would have been like, I'm playing like that. I'll tell you what I want. You don't tell me what I want. So my thought process is if you put it on my plate, but I don't have to eat it. I got the discipline. I won't even look at it and look that make you look bad. I'm a queen. Queen is plate on like. Mm. If, I, if we used to have two plates, we played together. I said, who's royalty? They would say this person. Mm. I agree. That's a good way. <laughs> this is serious shit. Yeah, because it's a lot of people that just let people give them what they want them to have, mm -hmm. and they accept mm -hmm. it. And Storm is teaching me right now. Yeah, yeah. Cold Storm is teaching me don't accept what they put on your. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I found interesting is that she kept on putting her finger in the girl's plate, talking about you know that's a play of a hood rat. She wouldn't eat that plate. You can't pay. So let me let me just show you the other video, y'all. So this is the updated video. The girl learned how to quote unquote make her own plate because I made my own plate today. So don't ever get it twisted. Okay. I know how to make my own plate, but when you allow somebody else to make your plate and you accept what they give you, that's the problem. That's what the lesson I was learning from my coach. She just said, you know, get a little queenship about yourself, boo. Don't accept every plate that they give you. So this is my plate at 10 with the teammate for myself. Don't hey! 
So now when she made that plate, the girl was probably hungry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Southern Bell. I appreciate that. The girl was probably hungry. And so that's why she made all that food. Now, she had a hamburger. She had a hot dog. She had like a macaroni, uh, what, potato salad, beans. She had a whole bunch of stuff on her plate, right? She probably shouldn't have filled up her plate like that. But then her quote unquote life coach, and this is the thing, shout out to all the life coaches out there. But what the f is a life coach? Like, I feel like a life coach should be any, AT2 can be your damn life coach. If y'all want to pay me $1,000 a month to be a life coach, hit me up in the DM. <laughs> but her life coach is telling her, oh, that's a plate of a hood rat. Oh, look at that plate. And as she's doing it, she's licking her fingers and I'm, I'm eating her chicken, licking her fingers and like poking at the plate. Like, I don't think y'all even realize like, and poking at the pl the girl's plate. Like, don't put your nasty ass finger that's been in your mouth and put it on my plate. You nasty. <laughs> like, that's hood rat right there. What's up, Vicky and Rose? I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you earlier. I did see you. But don't like lick my plate and uh, that's nasty. So the girl, she did say that, and I'm talking about the girl who had the low vibrational plate, right? She did state that she had weight issues and what Stormy was trying to do was hold her accountable. And that's why she was calling her out for having all that food on her plate. And the girl said, oh, somebody else made my plate. And so, <laughs> you know, we got to give both sides. So I see. I see the whole, oh, this was supposed to be a life lesson, like don't accept everything that somebody put in your plate. I personally don't believe that somebody else made that play for her. It wasn't even organized. It was just slapped on there. That seemed like that girl, she was hungry and she slapped that shit on there herself. And then she said, oh, somebody else made that play for me. And they decided to do this whole skit and everything like that. Something tells me this shit ain't real. <laughs> You're welcome. I know, I know, I know. Uh, just be thankful for food to eat, period, with so many people going hungry. Right, right, Wanda, you're right about that. And I just felt like that whole, oh, this is a low vibrational plate right here. Like, you know, this is a plate of a queen. But technically, I don't even think Story knows what she's talking about. Because if you go to any other country where they actually... Um, you know, talk about, you know, eating and when, when you eat, that's a sign of wealth when you eat. So they would have looked at the girl with a whole bunch of food on her plate that looked like a disaster, but a whole bunch of food on her plate. They would have been like, Oh, that girl is royalty. She's royalty. They wouldn't have looked at that small plate with one shrimp, a piece of corn and them two chicken wings and be like, Oh, this is a plate of a queen. Now you could say, um, it was a uh, gluttony, you know, that's a sin gluttony with all that stuff on her plate. And you're like, Hey, Hey sis, you ain't got to eat that. You can go back and get you some more food. You ain't got to pile something all on your plate, but to be like, that's low vibrational. That's hood rat right there. Like, come on now. Like that's a little bit too much. So of course the internet got a hold of this and there's a whole bunch of memes. Oh, why didn't the memes come up? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Y'all. <laughs> so this one says me being a hood rat eating a low <laughs> and you know this is a lot of us at the barbecue and at the um, cookout and stuff like that you know Thanksgiving uh, three, <laughs> three low vibrational plates y'all see that right there that is funny so now Stor uh, Coach Stormy she has this whole a uh, $10,000 challenge where basically you hold each other accountable for she basically she said she gained a little weight and so she wants to uh, put together a group where y'all hold each other accountable and y'all can all lose weight. I think that's actually a dope idea. I just think it's the messenger that we probably have a problem with. It's the messenger. It's not necessarily the message. It's the messenger. After we watch that video, we kind of like, uh, we don't want to hear none of that shit. Like that shit is lame. That shit is whack. You telling that girl she a hood rat because she had all that food on her plate and stuff like that. I, I just don't understand how that was supposed to be uplifting. And especially you recorded that. You recorded that, put that on the Internet for everybody to see.
If anything, I would be embarrassed. I wouldn't even have went back to her and then for the girl to do a follow-up video, be like, oh, look, I got a plate of a queen. Look at me. That's, you got to love yourself a little bit more. I thought that's what a life coach is. See, that's why I don't believe in life coaches. I thought that's what they're supposed to do is uplift you, not bring you down. You know, uh, she must have thought she was a good girl. <laughs> Right. They probably was running out of food. And so she, there probably was like a hundred people there. Right. They probably only had a little bit of food. So she was like, let me stack my plate up so I don't go hungry. That's probably what she was thinking. You know, uh, what happened to saying um, what you eat don't make uh, make me ish. Uh, right, 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 right. I wish my uh, BFF. <laughs> I'm going to eat and be married. Right. You go. Yeah, exactly. I either, uh, you know, I don't know if I want the plate of a queen because it looked like if you got a plate of a queen, you're going to be starving. I want the hood rat play. Give me the hood rat play. Which play y'all eat? Y'all eating the quote unquote play of a queen or y'all eating the hood rat play? Y'all, y'all let me know. And for those of you just coming in, I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, videos one more time. Here you go. Because I made my own plate today. You don't even pay me to do that. They put this on my plate. I will not let, no, I don't do what they do. I do what I do. Mm. I'm a I believe it. Mm. But she's I would coach. never eat a plate that looked like this. You don't even mm. pay me a million dollars to do that to myself. Mm. Oh, my God. And it deserve better than that. That's mm. low vibration. And you took it. I would have been like, I'm playing like that. I'll tell you what I want. You don't tell me what I want. So my thought process is if you put it on my plate, but I don't have to eat it. I got the discipline. I won't even look at it and look that make you look bad. I'm a queen. Queen is plate from like. Mm. If, I, if we have two plates, we play together. And so who's royalty? They would say this person. Mm. I agree. That's a good way. <laughs> this is serious about shit. Yeah, because it's a lot of people that just let people give them what they want them to have, mm. and they accept mm. it. And Storm is teaching me right now. Yeah, yeah. Cold Storm is teaching me don't accept what they put on your. Mm. <sighs> and I don't know how girl, uh, how old the woman is, and stuff like that. I I just think that I can get the message. I can understand the message and stuff like that. However. Don't let anybody talk down to you and tell you that that's a plate of a hood rat and what you're doing and this and that. If anything, instead of recording it and putting it out for the Internet, that should have been something that you told on the side. Like, hey, you know, you don't need all that food. You know, I know you trying to lose weight, watch a figure and stuff like that. There's a way you go about it and say it. I don't want nobody to embarrass me for a click and a view. F you. Don't embarrass me for a click and a view. If someone put it on her plate, uh, they asked her what. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was also thinking too, Jacqueline. Like, if somebody put that on her plate, she probably wanted it. Like, she probably requested, like, "Oh, give me this, give me that, give me this, give me." Th Come on now. Uh, that was a kickoff to uh, her new skin. <laughs> That's true because just like I showed you guys, yeah, that was a kickoff to her new scam. You're right about that. Pillow talk. Uh, where is it? I just showed you guys. Uh, every time I try to look for something, I can't find it. Here we go. Now she's doing this whole high vibrational challenge or whatnot. Y'all see it right there. Join the high vibration fitness challenge for free. Enter to win 10,000. That's crazy. Being from the South, that's normal for us. Right, right. Right, she putting her down. That wasn't uplifting at all. Uh, let me ask you guys, put a one in the chat if you think that was uplifting. Put a two in the chat, hail to the naw. Let me know, do y'all think that was uplifting at all while I catch up on these comments? I always fix a hood rat plate, but eat like a queen. Eyes bigger than the stomach. Yeah, to me, um, the storm, she wasn't eating like a queen. She was eating with her fingers and stuff like that. If she was a queen, she would have had a fork and a knife, right? She wouldn't be licking all over her fingers and stuff like that. Hood rat all day, I love good food, period, right? Hood rat and wrap it up my leftover. <laughs> oh, man. I love y'all. Y'all crack me up. But yeah, okay, y'all put two. Y'all agree. That wasn't uplifting at all. That's why, like I said, I don't get the whole co life coach thing because it's a way you go about it. it and I've never had a life coach. I'll admit that. I never had a life coach, but just the way she was talking to her, I'm all like, shit. If anything, I can talk down on myself. I'm my own worst critic. You know, you think these YouTubers are bad? 
I talk about myself like a dog. So if anything, I know me, I can disrespect me. I don't need nobody else to disrespect me. And especially if I'm paying you, I don't need to pay anybody to disrespect me. I'm sorry. I would never pay anyone, anybody to disrespect me. You out your fucking mind. If I pay you, I want you to say some good shit about me. You know, uh, that part, laugh out loud. Queens uh, wouldn't dare lick their, right. Uh, the licking of the fingers, pointing and touching her plate. She was trying to taste what was on her plate. That's what she was, that's what she was licking her finger and shit. Uh, well, I don't know uh, why she said that her and the products, uh, they, uh, yeah, they're uh, multi-level. Um, what What's the M? It's multi-level market, multi-level marketing sale uh, helps with weight loss. Yeah, she sells. So another thing, y'all, thank you for bringing that up. She sells tea. That's her thing. She sells weight loss tea, not flat tummy tea, but it's another tea. That's what she sells. And so that's what they're marketing to do this was a whole marketing scheme uh that's why i don't care uh what black women's get togethers uh because it's all about insulting oh oh you're talking about uh those like conventions that they do and stuff like that i'm i'm I, well of course i've never been to one i mean they have multiple ones but i've heard they're they're in lighting and stuff like i i guess it depends on which one you go to which ones they're trying to scam you and which one's not. Uh, that sweet baby <laughs> Right, y'all think she had some sweet baby rays on that chicken? Because sweet baby rays, I love that barbecue. That barbecue sauce is hella good. So it is sweet baby rays. I'll be licking my finger, touching plates and stuff too. Because sweet baby rays, uh, barbecue sauce is hella good. Hell, sometimes if you waited in line too long to get your plate, I'm getting what I... That misbehaving, you're right. You're right about that. So it's all about selling, not coaching. Mm. Uh, when they say you eating too much to the people that eat in private. Right, right, right. I could definitely see that. Oh, what's up, Laugh Guys and Gossip? She said, if I pay, you better kiss my <laughs> Right. Because I'm all like, if I just got to be disrespectful to people to be a life coach, sign me up to be a life coach, because that's what I need. A life coach. Uh, you know, if I could just tell you like, yo, that's that's hood rat. That's low vibrational. And you take it and you accept it. I could easily do that. I can make me a thousand a month doing that. And that's per client, a thousand per client. That's what I, that's what I meant to say. A thousand per client. Like that is crazy to me. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop the link and see if anybody wants to come up real quick. And then I can also go blow my nose <laughs> because I'm, I'm acting like snotty over here. It's all it's all in the sinuses, uh, it's all in the sinuses right now. All right, let's go ahead and play a commercial. And thank you, Southern Bell, for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Girl, he was the type of hot girl get him a lawyer. And said he was at the buffet eating crab legs, sucking on crab legs. Girl, he was over there just cracking them crab legs, just sucking on them, which ain't no girl. He didn't go get him a lawyer. He was at the buffet eating the crab legs. Girl, girl, oh girl, you know I got the receipts, girl. Now that's how my plate was looking when I when I scammed y'all instead of going to get a lawyer and I went to the casino eating crab legs. That's how my plate. <laughs> that's how my plate looked. Oh, let me let uh, Buckets up here and last day from Gospel. Hello. Hey. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's, a, there's some feedback in the back. Do you have me on multiple screens? No, no. Let me let me go let me go off mute. Maybe. The only thing is if I'm on mute, I won't be able to talk. But no, I don't have anything on. It's just... Yeah, because every time I talk, I hear like... Feed. Yeah, I hear it. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, mute myself, and then I'll let you go ahead and uh, say what you got to say, and then um, you'll drop down and come back, okay? Okay. So is it good now? Okay, Um, I want to comment on the, um, the, the stormy thing. That's okay? Okay. To me, first of all, she was just being in, she was just being rude. She was just being nasty and she was being insolent. Look at it this way. Had that been Ania Long or uh, um, what's, the, what's that? What, what's what some of our great actresses? I have to use the actresses because that's who we know. Um, had that been a Halle Berry or a um, Angela Bassett, 
You think she would dare do that? She would not dare do that. That was her way because she's a hood rat. That, that, that don't, she does not look, and to me, she does not exemplify a woman who I would want to emulate. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. She's not someone I would want to emulate. So that's her way of putting her down. And then like you said, like you just correctly said, if you felt that that was not the right food, then you calmly tell her. And then when you come to an occasion, the polite thing is you you take what people give you. That's the polite thing you do. But if you're making food for yourself, and then also too, she doesn't have to, to eat. And like you said, okay, you're a queen. You're licking your fingers. You're putting your nasty bacteria on her plates. And the final thing that I want to say is that the whole, it's all this life coach thing. This is This is what I feel about the life coach thing. I don't believe in it. I don't like it. However, However, let me let me just say this. If you need it, it's not even about what I think. If you really, really need it, then go get it. Because some people might be so broken down that they really do need that. They really need, do need that help. But come on, who, look at who is life. Look, look at who are the people who are life coaches. Really? So I'll be quiet and let me let the other lady speak. Uh, yeah, go ahead, laugh, guys, and gossip. Hey, AT2, am I okay? Do you hear feedback or anything? See, I don't hear feedback in yours. It's just Rose. And Rose, by the way, I agree with everything you were saying. I know I was on mute, but I agree with everything that you were saying, though. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Go ahead, T. So I just saw this whole thing with Coach Stormy, so I'm going to just be just honest. I do listen to Coach Stormy. Um, mm. The vernacular in which she speaks, I mean, you know, she kind of came up kind of rough, so she doesn't articulate in a very corporate style, but I think at the essence, at the, some of the, th some of her principles and some of her theories are just awesome. The woman has catapulted herself into being uh, very, very wealthy. The way she speaks, no, I don't agree with it. And on this particular instance, I think she was being disrespectful, demeaning, and putting that woman down. Don't you dare put your, you don't have to tell somebody, right. you know, how they're full. Like if a person has a weight problem, cause I suffer with my weight, how dare you put your nasty a fingers in my plate first of all i'm a, i'm a i'm a germaphobe so even my family if you speak over my food while you fixing it i can't eat it keep your damn mouth shut while you fixing my plate or wear a mask when i go into uh to food places don't laugh over my food don't barely look at my food or i can't eat it you know so i just thought right. she was being very demeaning and and here's the other thing and if you even look at because i went to look it up you know i am a um i have to give my details mm. and do my research if you look at a feast for a queen there's so much effing food on a platter and a plate so what right. is she talking about that, that plate that she showed is something for an impoverished country that doesn't have food. So if you're talking about a, a fit, fit for a queen, a feast for a queen, it would be overflowing with food. Exactly. So I just thought, you know, her whole analogy was just off. You know, sometimes Coach Dormy just goes to the left. <laughs> so that's just who yeah. she is. So you actually... Um follow her and so what was it that attracted you to her she has principle i mean she talks about say for example i i consider myself to be uh professional and successful so i'm not really seeking somebody to be a life coach however there are some young people my daughter has a, a life coach and i'm okay with it um she gives you things that you don't think about like she um let me i'm trying to think of one thing that she talks about like talking about if you're tired and sleeping just in terms mm -hmm. of you have to stay motivated you have you know just she says she has nuggets of wisdom that remind you that you have to stay on your hustle and grind. And so you don't follow just like a pastor. You don't take everything a person says. Literally, you take what you need from it and you move on. You know, oh, so. OK, uh, because I mean, uh, BB asked a good question. What's the difference between a life coach and a therapist? I mean, well, actually, my daughter said they're very similar um, because she was just mm. letting me know that through her job, they offer it. Um, the life coach, they give you tips on terms of time management. They're not necessarily focused on your mental health, but they're giving you strategies so that you can maybe excel at your company. Like, say, for example, um, for me, my, my goal for my daughter is to be a CISO by the time she's 30. 
may not okay. make that mark, but so they, but with her life coach, they'll talk about things in terms of, um, you know, public speaking. What are you doing to how many times a they'll week? Give are you goals, going? Yeah, right. they'll give me yeah, goals like that. Whereas mental health, you're really talking about possibly depression, things that right. you need to work on for your mental health. What can you exercise? Those kind of things. So I think that's, and it just depends. Okay. Okay. That, that makes sense. So uh, as far as your daughter, she has somebody that seems like she's actually helping her not talking down to her. Right. Well, well she just started and I actually, cause it's through her company and I think it's awesome. Some, oh. you know, a lot of companies, they offer that because they really want you to be mentally healthy and have some strategies. Like I have a problem with time management. So uh, a life coach may give you tips on what you should do daily, you know, in terms of waking up, how, what should you do? Right. So, I mean, there are just benefits and you have to know yourself. But what I did tell her is that I don't care who it is. You know yourself better than anybody. Nobody can tell you how to live. You take a little bit of the nuggets because, you know, some people, when they have therapists, they get so uh, reliant on the therapist that they can't live without the therapist telling them what to do. Oh, what should I do today? You, they got to go to the therapist. Therapist. So that's when you're getting too dependent. So you always have to have a level of independency and know who you are. But I think, you know, it's 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 OK. Coach Stormy doesn't offend me because I know who I am. You know? Right, right, and right. She, it, it's funny to me. Um, you know, I, I didn't really take it to heart, but it, it did open up a conversation like, yo, is this what what we doing talking about? This is low vibrational. This is this. This is that. Like, come on now. Like, it, it, it's crazy to me. Um, Absolutely. Me and her and her comment about a hood rat. That's just not the way to elevate other women. I mean, like I said, I do listen to her. But in terms of like, if I were talking to a young woman, why would I, uh, you know, put her down and call her a hood rat when I'm talking about you, her eating? It reminded me of Ayanla when she called um, Keisha Cole's sister a gutter snipe hood rat. Like, that's just not <laughs> language that we... <laughs> and you laugh. <laughs> That's just not how you elevate your sister. You know, there's ways to talk to people. So that just shows her ignorance, you know? Right, right. Uh, you're right about that. Oh, damn it. My internet is acting up. Uh, okay. Bro, uh, any final words? Um, like I said, I still maintain, I still maintain um, what, I, what I said. It was very condescending. There was no reason for that. And like I said, with the with the the life coaching, if if some people are really really need it, and 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 whatever you need that's going to help you that you can do on your own, go ahead and do it. But with the life coaching, unfortunately, I've just seen a lot of people who aren't qualified doing it. It seems like an easy way to make money because now that we have the technology of the internet. And this whole thing, and this is a whole nother entire topic. It may be controversial, but I speak my mind. This life, this life coaching therapy, I get that from my grandmother. I get that from my close friends. I get that from my support system. I'm not giving anyone gobs of money to tell me what your grandmother tells you, what your good friends tell you, you know, it's like everything is monetized now. Everything is a commodity. Friendship is a commodity. Simple conversation is a commodity. Well, what if you don't have the money? Do, do you die? And then also, like I said, I do believe that some of what she's doing is about selling. If you look at it now, everybody is selling you something, everyone. So they come under the guise of challenge. Oh, here's my tea. Buy my tea. Yeah, of course you'll be wealthy, taking advantage of people. Those are my thoughts. But AT, thank you. I love your show. Thank you for always acknowledging and saying hi. I love it. Bye. So AT2, can I just jump in and piggyback on what she said? I totally agree with her about talking about the um, the monetization and how people are monetizing. I don't uh, buy Coach Stormy's products. I listen to it for free on YouTube. Okay, so let's just to get that clear. I get the free version of coaching when for stuff like that. I'm not, oh, you okay. know, and, and, and she's right. I think that there are a lot of people that are just not qualified and they're just doing, it's like, how are you going to coach me when I'm living better than you? It misbehaving. I thought you were from Southern California. What you know about the Bay Area? She just sound like a Bay Area. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she she is a slick tongue, uh, you know. She is. She it's a, I don't want to say something negative, but but again, like I said, I you do find some jewels in what she says. I wouldn't pay the money for it. No. May I cut in? Um, th- um, you know, I'm not I don't I don't mean to interrupt the lady. Okay, look at what someone no, said. No. Those those women paid anywhere between five K to ten K. Listen, please. I'm not I'm not I'm all about people making money. I don't have anything against especially as black people. But then we get to the p- place of okay, um there's a particular um guy, right? I'm not knocking him. I love what he says, but he gives a lot of coaching on women. He did a lot of he said a lot of sensible stuff until another uh, um um uh YouTuber took him down. He said a lot of great stuff. But I hear oh. them him say <laughs> Buy my, buy my, um, buy for for seventy five dollars. Buy this coaching. Come on, you trying to tell me that you ain't got no uncles, no brothers, no people to tell you the same thing, and then you just you just right. giving this person your money? I, I I I'm not. I'm all I'm saying is that lady, the the, the lady on, she's smart. She got the free version. Don't let people um make mercenary out of you. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Don't let me because that's what I see going on. Everybody is selling something. Again, I'm not trying to take away from people getting their money. I'm all for that, but let's not be exploiting people, please. That's all I'm saying. Five, ten k. All right. Right. Thank you, thank you, Rose, for coming on. I appreciate you so much. Eighty two. If I have five k, I'm going to Dubai, and uh, I might, I might pee on somebody, but I ain't giving no uh, Coach Stormy no five ten thousand dollars. Are you crazy? Oh my God, you crazy? <laughs> I would too. But anyway, okay, thank, thank okay. you for coming on, Laugh Gas and Gossip. I appreciate right, you. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, Margo, um, did you used to be a life coach, or did you used to have a life coach? Call in if you did. Let let me know in the comments right now uh, before I end the show. Because I thought you used to have a life coach. Maybe not. If you if you didn't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Right, right. I feel like the life coach can come from a family member. Yeah, I will say therapy. Therapy definitely. I will put that up there. Like, yeah, go go get therapy. You need somebody outside because sometimes your family is the problem but (laughs) your family is the problem so yeah you need somebody on the outside but life coaching that's really like i don't know about that laugh out loud literally no i probably need one though (laughs) margo you don't need one you're doing good for yourself and let me get a dollar you hear my sinuses right i need some chicken noodle soup go ahead cash app paypal or venmo me i need some chicken noodle soup (laughs) <laughs> okay let me let on my uh next two guests uh what's up lefty what's up misbehaving how y'all doing hello everybody hey t2 good good let me start out with misbehaving first what you gotta say sound off look yeah I, i'm from southern california but i lived up north i you know I just oh okay <laughs> got you got you got you that's how you know <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> i worked at kaiser in south Sac. oh I, I grew up having Kaiser, and now I don't, and now I hate it. Okay, but look, she does. She she has that gift to gab. It's a lot of people like that. Some people, you know, they they have that uh that little charisma, that little charm. Right. You know, it's the voice, the tone of their voice, or the way they dress, or sometimes the right. Way they look. She got that pimp talk. She easy, she can easily persuade you, right? It, exactly. That's why I said she sounds like a Bay Area pimp from the eighties. <laughs> And look, if you go to a, a, a family gathering or function and you know when they pull out the food on the table, you're waiting in a long line to get to your food. Nobody's trying to go back in line a second time. And then, you know, there are some people at the at the function that are too ashamed or embarrassed to go get a plate of food. So they wait until you get back to the table and then they want to eat off your plate. I, 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 I got more than enough. Right. Napkin. Let me give you some. But yeah, I wouldn't take no advice from her. She's just preying on people's uh, weakness. And I can understand there are a lot of people that grow up in harsh environments. But man, you need to 
fine tune the way you speak because the her whole demeanor, the tone, the cadence, everything, it just gives me pimp aura. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lefty, uh, you know how to swindle people for money and stuff like that. What What do you think about Coach Stormy? Or did you want to talk about something else? Uh, before I say anything, you're going to need to correct that because I ain't never swindled nobody for nothing. <laughs> okay. Swindle, Lefty swindle don't swindle people out of <laughs> I ain't stole nobody for nothing, for nothing. If anybody gave me anything, they gave it to me because they wanted to. Same with you. You make just as much amount of money I was making off of YouTube with donations. Don't play that game with me. Wait, how much you know how much money I make? Because I know I, I I know you making near what I was making. And I can base that <laughs> off of your following the description. That's why. Wait, your your mic cut out, or maybe it was me. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. I said, I said, come on, you, you know I know my numbers. And um, yeah, you ain't gonna do that to me, especially I'm in the ER right now, too. You ain't sending my blood pressure up with that one. Yo, yo, uh, Lefty, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop you right now. Okay. So when I said swindle, I was making a joke. Um, my sinuses is acting up. I'm not going to turn this left, so we're just going to go ahead and end the show right there. But thank you guys uh, for coming. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Uh, thank you guys for also wishing me the best wishes and stuff like that as well, too. Hopefully I get better. Um, well, I am going to get better. Not hopefully. I am going to go ahead and get better. So um, it was a good conversation. Great conversation. Thank you for all my guests coming up. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Laugh, Gats, and Gossip. Thank you, Miss Behaven. Uh, Miss Behaven, I think your internet or something, uh, something went wrong. I guess if they got it, spend it, uh, willing to give it away, donate it to me. <laughs> right, 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 right. Exactly. Uh, but thank y'all. I appreciate every single one of y'all. We out of here. Deuces. Where the hell is the outro? Hold on. Let me get my outro ready. Let me get my outro ready. Uh, there we go. Here's the outro.